You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Section 4. You will hear a lecture being given to school leavers on the jobs people can get in sport and the training programs available to prepare for those jobs. First, you have some time to look at questions 31 to 40. Now listen carefully to the lecture and answer questions 31 to 40. Welcome to Further Education Information Week. This is the Physical Education Faculty Session and I'm the head of the faculty. During the course of this morning, we hope to give you a clear idea of what we offer in our training programs and we will look at the types of courses and the entry requirements, if any, for those courses. <clears throat> some of these courses are open to school leavers, but for some, you need previous qualifications or relevant successful employment. <clears throat> so, firstly, the Physical Fitness Instructors course is offered as a six-month certificate course, which includes an important component of personal fitness, but there are no specific entry requirements. For sports administrators, we provide a four-month certificate course, but you should be aware that this is designed for those who are in employment. This employment must be current and related to sports administration. For the sports psychologist course, we offer a one-year diploma course, but this diploma course is available only to those who already hold a degree in psychology. So you need to make sure you have that before you apply to do this course. <clears throat> now, for physical education teachers, we offer a four-year degree in education. This degree course is designed for preparing students to teach in primary and secondary schools and needs no prior qualifications, as it is entered directly by school leavers. And lastly, for the Recreation Officers course, we offer a six-month certificate. Entry to this course normally includes applicants of a wide range of ages and experiences, but we do not insist on any prerequisites for this course. <clears throat> Remember that this is a vocational training institute. We train you so that you can take up a particular kind of job. So it is important that you know the main roles of the jobs, what the work is like, and what kind of qualities you need to succeed at them. A physical fitness instructor works in health and fitness centres preparing individual programs for ordinary members of the public. Physical fitness instructors prepare routines of exercises to suit the individual client's age and level of fitness. Sports administrators run clubs and sporting associations. Their duties include such things as booking playing fields with local councils and organising the schedule of games or events for the club. So, they need good organisational skills. Sports psychologists spend time with professional athletes, helping them approach competition with a positive mental attitude to enable them to achieve their personal best. They do this by improving motivation and concentration, 
or assisting with stress management. Physical education or PE teachers instruct young students in how to exercise, play sport, and do other recreational activities correctly and safely. PE teachers help the development of coordination, balance, posture, and flexibility, with things like simple catching and throwing skills. They are not expected to be experts in all sports, but must be able to show students the basic techniques involved in a wide range of activities. Recreation officers often find themselves working for local government authorities and local groups. Their aim is to raise people's awareness of healthy lifestyles and improve general fitness through arranging recreational activities for groups of all ages, from the very young to the elderly. There are many other job opportunities which our graduates can look forward to. If you're interested in any of these, then I suggest. That is the end of section four. You will now have half a minute to check your answers.